Are you serious? Are you serious? You're looking at Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Mount Vesuvius. Of course, famous for its eruption in 79 AD when it killed thousands of people, including the city of Pompeii, destroying the Roman Empire, basically, the aristocrats and some of the very influential, politically astute, those that were in the elitist of the great Roman Empire, died nine years almost to the day that the Roman Empire came in and destroyed King Herod's temple, the second temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Some think maybe God was bringing vengeance of fire and ash upon the Roman Empire for such a terrible thing that happened. This Mount Vesuvius is very, very fascinating when you begin to look at its history. It has erupted many, many times. Um, I mean, just unbelievably. After 79 AD, again in 172, A.D., 203, 222, 303, 379, 472 A.D., on and on and on. Even the year 999 A.D., some people were calling for the end of the world. And then even later, in the 1600s, like 1660 and 1682, 1694, 1698, 1707, 1737, 1760, 1767, 1779, it erupted. 1794, it erupted. Just, I mean, unbelievable. Also, 1822, 1834, 1839, 1850, 1855, 1861, 1868, 1872. I mean, look how frequent this great Mount Vesuvius erupted. But then it slowed down. 1906, an eruption. That's the same year of the great Azuzu Street Revival. 1926, during the Roaring Twenties, it erupted. And in 1929, right when the stock market was crashing, Mount Vesuvius was erupting. And then it didn't erupt again until 1944 when Hitler was exterminating the Jews in World War II at the height of his extermination of the Holocaust of 6 million Jews and 2 million Christians. It was once again God erupted Mount Vesuvius. But folks, it has not erupted since. Is it due? And what event could spark its eruptive return? Now, here's a question for you. There was a prophecy given by a Greek woman. I'm going to actually see if I can find that right here. Yes, a Greek woman actually had a prophecy, and she gave it. And this is what she wrote as it, as it related to Mount Vesuvius. She wrote, an evil storm of war will also come upon Jerusalem from Italy, and it will sack the great temple of God. A leader of Rome, which of course was Titus, will come, who will burn the temple of Jerusalem with fire, and at the same time slaughter many men and destroy the great land of the Jews. When a firebrand turned away from the cleft of the earth, which could be Mount Vesuvius, in the land of Italy, that sounds like Mount Vesuvius, reaches to broad heaven, that's a volcano erupting, it will burn many cities and destroy men. Well, that would be 79 AD. 
Much smoking ashes will fill the great sky and showers will fall from heaven like red earth. Know then the wrath of the heavenly God. She was prophesying the destruction of the Roman Empire because of the evil that it did to the temple of God in the city of Jerusalem. Well, in 70 AD, as Jesus had also prophesied, not one stone of, the, of those buildings would not be unturned as the Romans destroyed the temple in Jerusalem. And nine years almost to the day, Mount Mes Mesuvius, excuse me, I said Mesuvius, <laughs> Mount Vesuvius erupted and destroyed Pompeii and the cities around. And I've just shared with you a lot of other historical eruptions. But is it possible, since we haven't had an eruption since 1944, is it possible that this great mountain has one last mighty eruption when God pours out his wrath or will it be used for judgment one more time one more time something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ I want to read one verse God said in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 25, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. Mount Vesuvius. Is it got one more eruption left in it? Are you serious? Is something biblical going on in this year of 2015? With the third and the fourth blood moons. Is time running out? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time. We are way overdue. The Lord's coming soon.